So welcome back guys to another tutorial on Kids Coding Playground. Today we'll be doing a math game. So the players can choose any operation such as addition, multiplication, uh, division, and subtraction. Or you can pick a random operation, so we'll choose a random one for you to play. And the player can choose a type of operation and they would like to play. And the cat will ask the math problems for each um, operation. So let's say you click on multiplication. The cat will start asking questions for multiplication. If you click on subtraction, the, the cat will start uh, asking questions for subtraction. So today we'll be learning these following concepts in Scratch. Variables, custom blocks, broadcasting messages, loops, and we'll be using a bunch of operator blocks. We can later expand this math game into a math racing game, which I did for my tech fair uh, about like two years ago, and I got third place on the tech fair. So later we can expand to that, but first we'll need to work on the regular math racing game, uh, math game. So I'll demo the game for you guys. So, um, so in the beginning, I'll just say, let's play a math game, answer the following questions, press quit to stop all questions. That's just to stop all, choose one of the operations are random. So let me show you, when you click on random, it'll pick a random operation for you, as you can see. So I'm just going to, um, so when you get a, a question correct, it'll say that is correct. And let's say if I get a question wrong on purpose, like it'll say wrong number. And there's also uh, different modes. There, today we'll be working on addition and subtraction. I think that's all we'll have time for. We'll work on multiplication and division in the later video. So let's see addition. So 33 plus 20, that's 53. That's 40. So if you get it right, it'll, you'll get more score. As you can see in the top right corner, you can get more score. So yeah, that's pretty much the game. So let's start a new project. Okay, so we can keep the cat for now. And um, if you want to make a backdrop, you can. Um, so I just made like a little green backdrop with like no outline. Um, and I just like used a darker green on this side like that. And I just drew a square. Uh, you guys can do whatever you guys would like. I'm just going to make a backdrop. So this is going to be my backdrop. And we're going to keep the cat. Um, I can rename it to cat, actually. But in the old one, I just still had a sprite one. But um, And then we'll need to make some buttons. I already have them in my backpack. Today we'll be making the addition and subtraction ones. Um, and the quit button. Uh, that's all we'll have time for, I think. So, uh, for the, so for the addition, um, all we did was just drew a square, a, a rectangle, and then wrote addition. And same for subtraction, we just drew a, a rectangle, and then wrote, um, the word subtraction. And then for the quit button, just a circle, and then I wrote quit. So that's it for the, um, three buttons. And let's go working on the code now. So, actually, first we need to create some variables. So we're going to make a variable called answer to problem. Answer to problem. Problem. So make this answer to problem it's for all sprites. And then we'll need to make another variable called guess. So this is what the um, player guesses as the answer. And then we have the random number one, which is the number picking the random number, which is the first number they'll pick. And then we also have a second number, random number two. And then we'll need to create one more called random game and score. We only create two more actually. So random game. So this is for the, um, so let's say you click the random button, it'll pick a random game. So this is what it's for. And then you have to make score. And then we can delete my variable. This is not use. So this is all we have for now. So let's go to the cat, get a one fly clicked. So one fly clicked, um, we're going to hide some variables. So um, we're going to hide the variable score in the beginning. Actually, no, we don't need this. We don't need to hide the variable. We can just keep it showing, I guess, if you want. I'm going to keep the score on the right side. So I'm going to get a one fly clicked. 
and then I'm gonna um, show the variable score. Uh, actually, no, we don't need that because it's already shown. And I'm just gonna make it say, "Let's play a math game." Math game. Oops. So let's play a math game. I'll say it for like two seconds, and then I'll duplicate it. We're just gonna tell them the instructions how to play in the beginning. And then I'm going to say answer the following questions. And then I'm going to do a uh, duplicate two more. One is press quit the quit button to stop all questions. Stop all questions. So this is just a stop all. And then one more. We'll do a choose one of the operations or random. So this, these will be the instructions. So if you guys want to make it um, less, less, like less saying, then you can just put all of the instructions in one say and just make it for a longer time. So I just did it like this, but you guys can do it any uh, differently. So I'm going to make a new variable right now. I mean, new broadcast. I'm going to name it choose game. So this this is just to uh, select the game. So choosing game. So let's go into our addition and subtraction. So for addition, I'm going to get a when I receive choose game. We want to show. So it will um, show up in the beginning. And in the beginning, we want to hide. When flag click, we want to hide. Um, sorry, hide. So I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. Uh, when I when this sprite is clicked, so I'm gonna do two more broadcasts. One is called Start Game, and one is called Start Edition Game. And we'll make another one called Start Edition, letting the player know it'll start the edition. Start, start, edition, start edition, and then when I receive Start Game, we want to hide the a button it is no longer needed after the game has started. Start game, we want to hide. And then, um, this part is not necessary, but you guys can add it if you would like. It's just to make your game look better. So when you put your mouse on it, it'll get bigger and smaller. So just get a forever loop. Uh, if touching mouse pointer, then we can set the size to 85%. Uh, else set it to 100. There are many other ways to do it, but uh, the other ways are a little bit more difficult, so this is just an easier way of doing it. Um, so now let's go back to the cat. So for the cat, we're gonna have to make some custom blocks. So we're gonna get um, a new custom block. Let's name it addition. 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 I think that's how you spell it, but addition. So we're going to define the addition block. So let's define the addition block right now. Let's get a forever loop. And then in the beginning, we want to set the guess to zero. So the guess is zero in the beginning, so we set it to zero. And then we want to set the random number one to pick random one to 100. So for addition, it will pick random one to 100. So um, pick random 1 to 100, so the first number will pick random 1 to 100, and then we want to set the second number, pick uh, random number 2, to also pick random 1 to 100. And then we're going to use the variable set answer to problem to random number 1 plus the random number 2, which is the first number, which you pick random, it could be like 25 or something, and then the second one could be like 10, and you add them together, so you get an addition operator. So you add the random number one, which is a random number, pick one to 100, and random number two, which is a pick random one to 100. So you add them up. Oops, put that back in. Like random number one plus random number two. And then I'm gonna zoom in a little bit more so you guys can see it better. And then we're gonna get a repeat until. So we're gonna repeat until guess is equal to answer to problem. So it will repeat until the answer is right. So the guess is what the player inputs. 
and the um, answer to problem is the um, answer to the problem, the random number one plus the random number two. And then we're going to ask, 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 join random number one, join the add addition symbol, random number two. So it will ask what is the random number one plus random number two. So we're going to join. We'll just pop that in there. Get it in uh, another join. We need two joins and put it in here. So we're going to get join the random number one addition symbol and then random number two like that. So ask that. And then, we'll, and then after that, we want to set the guess to the answer, which is the answer right here. The correct answer. And then if the answer is equal to random number one plus random number two. So this is just a check if the player has got the right answer. So if random number one is equal, if the answer is equal to random number one plus random number two. So we'll get an addition symbol. If the answer is equal to random number one plus random number two, then we can start. Actually, this should be an if else statement because if they get it wrong, then it should say wrong number. So let's change this to an if else. Sorry about that. So you put that in here, and then when I get something right, uh, I'm going to get a new sound. So I got like a guitar strum sound. Uh, guitar strum. This one sounds like this. Uh, and then I just put in here, play sound guitar strum. And then it will say that is correct. That is correct. That is correct for two seconds. And then we can change the score by one because they got the right answer. Else, if they get it wrong, oops, let me just duplicate this. If they get it wrong, then we'll say something else. We'll say that is the wrong answer. And then instead of playing guitar strum, um, I, got, I got like a string pluck sound. Um, from before, pluck sounds like this, just like, kind of sounds like they got it wrong or something, so I'm just going to go to sounds, put that right here, and then say that is the wrong answer. Okay, and now we have to call the addition thing, so um, we broadcasted start addition from here, remember, right here, so we're going to go to the cat, uh, when I receive start addition, we want to call this block, so addition. So now let's try out. Let's try it out. So it's going to say, let's play a math game. Answer the following questions. Press the quit button to stop all answers. Choose one of the random operators. Uh, operators are random. So we only have one operation right now, so let's click on addition. So ask the answer, as you can see right here. So 54 plus 42 is equal to 96, so let's put 96, and they'll say that is correct. So it is working, and the score went up. And I forgot in the beginning, we have to set the score to zero. So it will go back to zero, because I uh, forgot about that. And then 60 plus 35, let's see if I get it wrong, let's put 7 or something. Uh... They'll say that is the wrong answer, so it is working right now. So 60 plus 35 is actually 95, so say that is correct. So as you can see, it's working now. So uh, addition is working right now. And we can work on the quit button, but I don't think we have enough time to work on the subtraction like I said in the beginning. Um, I think we'll work on that in the next video. But so when this, so for here, I'm just going to do it when, I, when this sprite is clicked. Stop all because it's the quit button. And then when fly clicked, we want to hide. And finally, when I receive a start game, we want to show. Show the quit button right there. So that is it for this video. Don't forget to save your project. And you can rename it to like math game. So 
that's it for this video. Hope you guys really enjoyed. Uh, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and ring the notification bell. See you guys in the next video.